Hello, I'm Stephen Harrison of Harvard Medical School, Children's Hospital Boston, and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. This is the first of three lectures on virus structures. This first lecture will be about general features of the molecular organization of virus particles. The second two will be about specific properties of virus particles relevant to the molecular mechanism of infecting a cell. Viruses are carriers of genetic information from one cell to another. In that sense, they're effectively extracellular organelles. The infectious virus particle, sometimes called a virion, is a molecular machine that packages viral genomes, escapes from the infected cell, survives transfer from one cell to another, and attaches, penetrates, and initiates replication in the new host cell. It's thus not just a package, uh, a passive package, but rather uh, an active payload deliverer. Now, most people know viruses as pathogens. Because the virus bears the genetic information needed to usurp the cellular biosynthetic machinery and replicate itself, the selective advantage for evolution of the virus may be a selective disadvantage for the host. And as a result, hosts evolve defense mechanisms, the immune system in the case of uh, humans and other higher uh, vertebrates. Now, viruses come in two major flavors. Enveloped viruses, in which the infectious virus particle is surrounded by a lipid bilayer membrane derived from host cell membrane, and non-enveloped viruses, rather unimaginatively, uh, that have no lipid bilayer membrane, and the protective coat is just protein. These two structural modes correspond to different modes of exit and entry into cells, different mechanisms of assembly and different mechanisms of infection, as we'll see uh, in, the, uh, in the course of this lecture and the next two. Now, uh, just as quick examples, on the right is an example of a uh, non-enveloped virus particle, a rotavirus particle. This uh, image is based on uh, reconstructions from many electron micrographs, and we'll go into that in the, some of the details of that in the third lecture. And on the other side uh, is an example of, a, of, of an enveloped virus particle also studied by electron microscopy. And in the cross-section of the image that you see uh, at the bottom, you can clearly see evidence of the lipid bilayer with alpha helical segments of the protein on the outside traversing it. Just to remind you of sizes and distances, both the rotavirus particle and the synbis virus particle, as the um, right-hand one was called, um, have outer shells that are about 700 angstroms in diameter, or 70 nanometers. That's about a millionth the size of a tennis ball. Recall that chemical bonds are between one and two angstroms in length, and uh, that's why chemists use angstroms rather than nanometers. It's the natural unit of a chemical bond. So when I say 700 angstroms, you can think of that as 500 to 700 atoms across. Of course, it's a volume, and so the molecular mass of these particles is some tens of millions of, uh, of Daltons. 